we are studying chapter number 12 in the last period we have seen how to solve the word problems and how to solve the equation for finding the value of the variable now here you are given some solved example let us see the solved examples given here first solved example is joseph's weight is two times the weight of his younger brother find joseph's weight if the sum of their weight is 63 kg so here we are given one condition that the weight of the joseph is double the weight of his younger brother let us suppose the weight of his younger brother be x kg okay so the weight of the joseph will be double of x kg that is 2 times x kg that is 2 into x now second condition is given that joseph's weight we have to find if sum of their weight is 63 kg means the addition of both the brothers weight is 63 kg so x kg plus 2 x kg equals to 63 kg so according to second condition x plus 2 x equals to 63 now 1 x plus 2 x is 3 x so 3 x equals to 63 now according to our solution how we can find the solution when we want to eliminate this 3 to find the value of x what we have to do if it is in multiplication then when it will go on the right hand side it will become division so x equals to 63 upon 3 now x equals to 63 upon 3 means when we will divide it we will get the answer x equals to 21 so now x is the weight of the younger brother okay so 21 is the weight of the younger brother 21 kg is the weight of the younger brother to find the weight of joseph what we have to do we have to multiply it by 2 so 2 multiplied by 21 that is equals to 42 so 2x equals to 42 kg so 42 kg is the weight of the joseph okay now second question numerator of a fraction is 5 more than its denominator numerator you know in the division the above part is numerator and the below part is denominator so numerator of a fraction is 5 more than its denominator if the denominator is x then the numerator will be x plus 5 if 4 is added to numerator and denominator the fraction obtained is 6 upon 5 means we have to add 4 to the numerator as well as to the denominator and then what we will get 6 upon 5 we will get as a answer so we have to find the fraction now let us solve this problem let the denominator of the fraction be x okay we are given that numerator is 5 more than denominator so we can assume denominator to be x and for numerator we have to add 5 to it so numerator will be x plus 5 where x is the denominator x plus 5 is the numerator now the fraction will become x plus 5 upon x now according to second condition what we have to do we have to add 4 to both numerator as well as to denominator and you will get 6 upon 5 so let us add 4 to numerator as well as to the denominator if 4 is added to numerator what you will get numerator is x plus 5 so add 4 to it x plus 5 plus 4 and denominator is only x so add 4 to it x plus 4 and the result is 6 upon 5 now you got this equation now let us see how to solve this equation so cross multiply this okay multiply 5 into x plus 9 and that is equals to multiply 6 into x plus 4 so 5 into x plus 9 equals to 6 into x plus 4 means that each term of this bracket must be multiplied by 5 and each term of this bracket must be multiplied by 6 so after multiplying what you will get 5x plus 5 9 is 45 6x plus 6 4 is 24 now bring the like terms together okay so 5x and 6x you have to bring together and 45 and 24 you have to bring together so uh, when you will take this 5x on the right hand side it will become minus 5x because it is positive plus 5x so 6x minus 5x is easy and when you will take this 24 on left hand side it will become minus because it is plus so 45 minus 24 is also easy to calculate So, forty-five minus twenty-four equals to six x minus five x. Forty-five minus twenty-four is twenty-one. 
6x minus 5x is 1x. So now we got the value of x and x was the de denominator. Okay. So denominator of fraction is given as x means that is equals to 21. And numerator was 5 more than the denominator means we have x plus 5. So x is 21. So 21 plus 5 is 26. Now the fraction is 26 upon 21. This is the given fraction. Third question is given that Ratna has rupees 200 more than 3 times the amount Rafiq has. Okay. If rupees 300 from the amount with Ratna are given to Rafiq, amount with Ratna will be 7 upon 4 times the amount with Rafiq. Find the initial amount with Rafiq. To find the initial amount, complete the following activity first. So here it is given some complicated question and also you are given one activity to solve. So let us solve this activity and then find the answer of the question given. Okay. The amount with Ratna is rupees 200 more than 3 times the amount with Rafiq. Let the initial amount with Rafiq be x. Rafiq is having rupees x. Therefore, how much amount the Ratna will have? Amount with Ratna is 200 more means 200 plus. Okay. Then 3 times the amount with Rafiq. 3 times the amount with Rafiq means 3x. So 3x plus 200. This will be the amount with Ratna. Okay. This will be the condition. 300 and 200 more than 3 times the amount with Rafiq. Rafiq has rupees x. So Ratna will have 3 times x plus 200. Now next condition. If rupees 300 from the amount with Ratna are given to Rafiq. Means we have to deduct 300 rupees from the amount that is with Ratna. Okay. So this is the amount with Ratna. We have to deduct 300 from this amount. And this amount is given to Rafiq. Means whatever amount the Rafiq is having, we have to add 300 to that amount. So let us do it. So this is the next condition. 3x plus 200. It was the amount with Ratna. You have to write here huh, in this box that Ratna has 3x plus 200. Rupees 3x plus 200. Now after deducting 300 rupees from Ratna's amount, we get Ratna's amount as 3x plus 200 minus 300. Means here in this box you have to write down 3x plus 200 minus 300. Now Rafiq has x plus 300 means this amount it is taken from Ratna and it is given to Rafiq. Rafiq was having x. So now he has x plus 300. x plus 300. Now Ratna finally has the amount as 200 minus 300 is minus 100. So 3x minus 100. And Rafiq finally has x plus 300. Okay. So this is the amount with Ratna. 3x minus 100. And this is the amount with Rafiq. Now we are given the condition that the amount with Ratna is 7 by 4 times the amount with Rafiq. Okay. So amount with Ratna equals to 3x minus 100 upon amount with Rafiq equals to x plus 300. So in this box we have to write amount with Ratna equals to 7 upon amount with Rafiq equals to 4. 7 upon 4. Now according to condition 3x minus 100 is the amount with Ratna and x plus 300 is the amount with Rafiq. So 3x minus 100 upon x plus 300 equals to 7 upon 4. So here you have to write this 7 upon 4. Therefore cross multiply this 3x minus 100 multiplied by 4 and 7 multiplied by x plus 300. So this will be the equation. So here in 4 into 3x minus 100 equals to 7 into x plus 300. Then you will get here after multiplication 4 is a 12. 12x minus 4 into 100 is 400. 12x minus 400 equals to 7 into x 7x plus 7 3 is a 21. So 2100. 7 into 300 is 2100. So 12x minus 400 equals to 7x plus 2100. Now bring the like names together. So 12x minus 7x. 7x when it will go on left hand side it will become minus. And 400 it is minus. So when it will go on right hand side it will become plus. So 2100 plus 400. So here 12x minus 7x equals to 2100 plus 400. 
Then, now, 12x minus 7x is 5x. 5x equals to 2100 plus 400 is 2500. So, 5x equals to 2500. So, here you have to write 2500. Now, you have to eliminate this 5 to find the value of x. So, it is in multiplication. So, when it will go on right hand side, it will become division. So, x equals to 2500 upon 5. So, the value of x will be 5, 5 is 25 and 0, 0. So, 5, x equals to 500. This will be the answer. So, right here, x equals to 500. So, therefore, Rafiq initially has rupees 500 with him. In this box, we have to write here 500. Okay. So, we have solved these examples. Complete this given boxes according to these equations we have solved here. And write the values correctly in the boxes. And complete your textbook activity given here.